very important question with modern endocrine interventions in breast cancer, which literally all patients uh, with endocrine responsive disease uh, will be treated with, the potential impact on these patients' bone health is the Achilles heel of these otherwise very effective uh, treatments. So that means that particularly for low-risk patients, um, the risk of uh, suffering side effects and uh, having consequences for their quality of lives in terms of the bone health may even outweigh in some situations um, the potential risk of recurring cancer. And uh, maintaining bone health uh, with the help of bisphosphonates uh, obviously has, been, has become a cornerstone in the treatment of these patients. I definitely believe so. We have uh, now several um, prospective data published from randomized clinical trials showing that this uh, added anti-cancer benefit is in fact a reality, uh, via the probably both direct and indirect anti-cancer uh, properties of bisphosphonates like solidronic acid we really can provide additional benefit uh, to our patients. Uh, recently, this has also been demonstrated in other diseases. We now have uh, exciting data um, coming in from the lung cancer field uh, and uh, many more trials to report in the next two to three years in prostate cancer and other diseases. Uh, so I believe that eventually we will uh, consider adjuvant bisphosphonates as part of the standard of care. Uh, in the very near future.